Welcome to your Therma Dashboard Quick Start Guide video. In this video, we will briefly cover the different features and functions available on your Therma Dashboard. This will be a very broad overview, but everything covered in this video is discussed in further detail on the additional videos located on the Therma Resource Hub. We will be using our main navigation toolbar at the top of your dashboard as our guide today to cover each tab you see here, starting with the main dashboard page. Your dashboard page will always be your home page after signing into your account. On this page, you'll have your temperature graph, your filters section, as well as your past alerts information. Your graph's default view is to show all enabled sensors in your Therma network for the last 10 days, unless viewing permissions have been restricted through the use of Teams by a site administrator. You can manipulate what shows up on your graph by playing with the inputs on your filters section. You can change time period here, as well as select specific sensors to show up on the graph. Additionally, as you'll see here in the filters section, you'll see a list of all your locations and sensors, their current temperatures, as well as their current battery percentage. Scrolling further down the dashboard page, you'll see your past alerts log. Here's where you'll get any information on any previous alerts that have been sent through your Therma dashboard. Next, we'll be going over your sensors page, which you can access by clicking sensors on the main navigation toolbar at the top of your screen. This page will only be available to site administrators, not standard users. Here is where site administrators can add, edit, delete, locations, sensors, or alerts on your Therma dashboard. Alerts are one of the most important part of your Therma dashboard. As you can see here, by clicking on a specific sensor, here is where you'll be able to add, edit, enable, disable, or delete customized alerts on your Therma dashboard. You'll also have the ability to create alert schedules and enable or disable smart alerts. Next, we'll move on to your users page. This page will also only be available to site administrators, not standard users. Here is where site admins will be able to invite, edit, and delete users. As you can see by clicking invite, Admins can invite new users via text message or email and determine whether there be a standard user or an admin. They'll also be able to edit user information. And lastly, they'll be able to create, edit, or delete teams. Teams are used to organize and restrict which sensors are viewable on the main dashboard for selected users. Lastly, we'll move on to our reports page. This page is going to be available to both standard users and site administrators. Here you'll be able to add, download, edit, or delete reports. When creating a report, you'll have the option to run the report just once or schedule it to run on a daily, weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly basis. A copy of the report is downloaded automatically to your computer when it is ran. A copy is also emailed to your selected recipients. And there you have it, that is your quick start guide to your Therma dashboard. We highly recommend you watch the more detailed videos listed on the Therma Resource Hub. For any additional questions or concerns, please email us at support at hellotherma.com. Thank you.